Besides causing disease, what positive roles do these bacteria play in the environment? And how can we study them and learn about God in the process? As scientists, we glorify God through better understanding his creation using the imagination he has given us. When we think of science and scientists, we think about data and experiments and finding out how to answer some of our questions about how the various parts of the world work. But I'm also interested in the role that imagination plays in the sciences. As a Christian, I believe that God created the universe and all that's in it. Scripture tells us that God called all of this creation good. And yet we also know that what we see now is not the way things are supposed to be. We see death and disease, famines and droughts, suffering and decay, tensions and wars. As I look at the world as we see it now, one thing I am drawn to is imagining what it must have been like in its created state. When I teach my microbiology class, we talk about some of the bacteria that cause human disease. What is good about those bacteria? What was God's purpose in making them? Besides causing disease, what positive roles do these bacteria play in the environment? And how can we study them and learn about God in the process? Imagination also calls me to look forward as well. If God is making all things new and restoring creation, how will that look? How can I as a scientist play a role in that new creation? I also consider how I can help my students think about the roles they can play in this new creation. Maybe my students will become healthcare practitioners and will work at healing and rehabilitation, helping individuals to recover from injury and disease so they can flourish as humans. Perhaps they will learn to pursue scientific research to help us learn more about how organisms or cells interact with each other, pursuing new avenues for treatments. They may work to clean up parts of the environment that were polluted or damaged by past human activity. With imagination, they will study how we as humans can keep ourselves from making the same mistakes again in the future. Johannes Kepler, who was a German astronomer and mathematician, once said that scientists study both scripture and nature, and by doing this, they can learn to think God's thoughts after him meaning that we can begin to see how God created the world and what his intention for it is so that we can participate in carrying out this intention. We're not yet where we should be, but by learning to think God's thoughts after him, we can use our imaginations to show how we can glorify God now and bring shalom and healing to the home he has given us.